In this video, I will teach you how to install macOS Sequoia on ThinkPad T480. All the foundational information are found on my previous guide on how to install this. This video is just a quick way to install a Hackintosh on this ThinkPad. You will need a USB flash drive, at least 30 to gigabytes or more. For faster transfer, use USB 3 or C or Thunderbolt variant. We will do this on APC with Windows 7, 10 or 11 installed on a computer. We will use Ben Toy to flash it on the USB flash drive. Then we will transfer all the necessary files into the USB flash drive. All these can be found on my website. Check the description box. Extract Ben Toy then go inside the extracted folder. Run the Ben Toy to disk application. You can now insert the USB flash drive into the computer. Ben Toy will automatically detect the inserted USB flash drive. Go to Option, Partition Style, select GPT Partition. Click the Install button and confirm it by pressing the Yes button upon pop-up. Make sure you already back up the content of the USB before doing this. Close Ben Toy and let's visit my website. Let's download the RDR file. I will download the Sequoia. Click the link beside it for the password. You will be redirected to Mediafire. Click the blue download button to download it. Now scroll above and let's download the Windows 10 Portable and our Drive Image app. Go into GitHub website. Now for the EFI folder of this ThinkPad. Just make a quick search into all GitHub repository. I will also need to search for a latest and updated EFI by filtering the search. From here, check the result for this T480. I found this EFI from Meowie Cat. From this repository, you can read all the details about this file, which macOS version will work on this one. You can also see the BIOS settings for this one to work. You can set these up later on. Follow the correct BIOS settings so that I will smoothly run on your machine. They also indicate which are working on this Hackintosh build as well as the things that are not working or will not work at all. Scroll back up and let's download this EFI. Once you downloaded everything, you will now transfer them all on the USB flash drive. Now, your USB flash drive should be like this by now. Eject the USB then let's go to the ThinkPad T480. Here is the ThinkPad T480, the USB flash drive, video capture card, and a combo mouse and keyboard. Plug them all. Turn on the ThinkPad T480 and let's go into the BIOS settings. My video capture card is not working, so I will be recording this on my phone. Let's set the BIOS settings to default. On the boot option, make the USB flash drive on the first boot. Select the USB flash drive, then press F6 to push him at the top. I will set the secure boot to disable. We are done here. Let's exit here and restart the ThinkPad. This will now boot on the USB using Ben Toy. Press Enter twice for us to boot into the Windows 10 Portable. Wait for it to load. Now, once everything loads up, open Disk Genius that is located on the taskbar. Select your SSD drive. It is formatted as GPT. 
if you have MVR. Just right-click it, then convert it to GPT. For now, let's delete all the partition. Now create AESP partition by right-clicking it. Uncheck the Create MSR Partition, then click OK below. Click Save All button on the upper left. Minimize Disk Genius and open your USB flash drive. Copy the EFI folder into the desktop. Right-click it, then Extract. Open Disk Genius, drag the EFI folder into the ESP partition. Close Disk Genius on your USB flash drive. Let's install the Redrive Image app. Double-click the macOS Sequoia RDR Restore image file. The password is my YouTube channel. Click the above source, then click the unallocated space of your drive. If this one pops, navigate the second RDR file on your USB. Click the Next button, and it will now proceed to restore. I will fast-forward this portion. If you have a fast SSD or NVMe drive, it will be a breeze. Once the restoration is done, close everything and reboot the ThinkPad T480. Remove the USB flash drive while it's rebooting. Select the Sequoia drive and press enter. This will now proceed on the boot up of your fresh shiny Hackintosh. What if you got stuck and you're unable to boot into the Hackintosh? Well, it's easy enough, referring to my 15 minutes guide again. You need your USB flash drive with Ventoe, Windows 10 Portable, and OpenCore Auxiliary Tool. Just boot into Windows 10 Portable. Open File Explorer and on your USB flash drive. Copy OpenCore Auxiliary Tool on the desktop. Right-click the zip file, then extract it using 7-zip. Open Disk Genius. We are about to copy the config.p list into the desktop so that we can edit it using OpenCore Auxiliary Tool. Locate your disk, find the FE partition, and go into the EFI folder of OpenCore. Right-click the config.p list and copy it to desktop. Minimize Disk Genius. On your desktop, open OpenCore Auxiliary Tool. 
Locate the config.p list on your desktop. From here you can adjust your configuration. This will be trial and error. Since not all configuration are the same, you will try to figure out what will work best on your machine. Save it once done. Close the program and we will put back the edited configuration. On Disk Genius, just drag the config.p list and replace it. We are done here. Reboot your computer and observe if you will encounter any errors. That's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. Click the video on your screen that may interest you to watch. Thank you.